have no uru. No uru kunotene. Not a protozil, no uru. Mangroves are unique ecosystems on which people depend for their livelihoods and to mitigate climate change. They burst with life and function as a sanctuary for many animals. Ma pa bia ke jinte sta corta tarafi pa fasi bulanya pa di pus e abandonal. Kemana na dobi di junta no tar baje junto pa no sumi a tarafi pa manga di tempo. While the common approach of gardening, building a nursery, growing seedlings and planting mangroves has been widely used, we have seen that up to 80% of these mass planting efforts fail. The trees either die or grow poorly, providing little ecological or economic benefit. For instance, planting mangroves on abandoned farmland where the soil is dry and salty won't work. Although it seems like a good idea, these efforts often end up being in vain. So where does that leave the recovery chances of mangroves in Guinea-Bissau? This is where community-based ecological mangrove restoration comes into play. Wetlands International has transformed these barren areas into thriving mangroves using the CBEMR method, working with 3,000 community members, national park staff and local NGOs. Entre 2021 et 2023, nous avons pu restaurer 2000 hectares de mangroves, répartis en 75 parcelles. Et le projet a supporté 2500 personnes directement. Et cette année, nous avons prévu de restaurer environ 500 hectares pour compléter les 2500 hectares dans l'objectif général du projet dans les cinq années. Catena was Ferrans of Mampuru Para Corta Taraf. So the poor squat lambimbi. Uncunsa Sibiricuma. Ecological mangrove restoration lets mangroves heal naturally. Instead of planting new trees right away, we focus on restoring the ecological process that mangrove needs. Les opérations de drainage consistent à couper les diques, creuser des canaux pour permettre à l'eau de circuler de façon naturelle dans le site tout en amenant toute une faune bactérienne et des propagules pour le site. Et comme résultat, les mangroves poussent de façon exceptionnelle dans la, presque l'ensemble de nos sites que nous sommes en train de restaurer. It's carefully planned and science-based when you create the right conditions for natural growth and thriving biodiversity, the benefits far outweigh simply planting. It might take longer for the mangroves to recover, but the higher success rate, lower efforts and costs, and the resulting diversity and strength of the mangrove forest make it worth the wait. People living near mangroves know the area better than anyone and often rely on it for their livelihoods. It's in their best interest to keep the mangroves healthy. Communities are crucial in ecological mangrove restoration. They do the work, monitor the progress, and ultimately benefit from it. The development of the propagul is very expensive and very expensive. But after that, we discovered that there is a natural regeneration for the natural 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 e torna um bocadinho muito mais menos custoso e e te ajuda tudo o aspecto tudo o aspecto da universidade conseguir vai através de água é vai é vai estalar e e torna um pouco uma população para ver a trave importante e te tirar no pis e te ajudar no para que a água pode subir e te ajudar no para não poder produzir outra coisa Beyond a healthy mangrove, it is also essential for communities to have other sources of income. That's why Wetlands International helps them develop alternative livelihoods and protect their most essential rice fields. I was born in the 
iti na ti simbura ki ti sim ki bura na ki bura la kanta pista di nyero kanta ba pa ga yin ki ta kortan che ben ben kunye siti sa ce n'est que le début on a prouvé que ça marche maintenant il faudra faire une mise à l'échelle on doit être sûr que la mangrove joue son rôle en protégeant la zone côtière contre les inondations et les phénomènes naturels mais aussi en appuyant à donner une biodiversité aux communautés et au peuple du Nigeria Success at scale depends on impact on all levels. Wetlands International is creating the right conditions for mangroves to recover and is working with partners to bring this successful approach to scale in Guinea-Bissau. We train communities to participate in ecological mangrove restoration and empower them. We also support national park staff with biodiversity monitoring and surveillance to tackle illegal activities like logging or using banned fishing nets. We work with authorities and civil society organizations to apply best restoration practices and shape policies that protect mangroves. <laughs> For example, we helped create Planta, Guinea-Bissau's national mangrove platform. Nous avons travaillé ensemble avec Wetland qui a beaucoup contribué à la matérialisation de cette plateforme aujourd'hui qui est fonctionnelle, qui regroupe plus d'une dizaine de partenaires et de projets. Et grâce à, à cette plateforme, on a aussi influencé au niveau politique, juridique, tel que la loi sur la mangrove, la stratégie nationale de restauration des écosystèmes, Tous ces efforts conjugués, comment ont permis d'avoir ces résultats importants qui, nous le pensons, vont durablement euh, impacter sur la conservation des écosystèmes de mangrove en Guinée-Bissau. Wetland International est aujourd'hui en train de faire une mise à l'échelle de cette méthodologie dans d'autres pays comme la Tanzanie, le Kenya, le Sierra Leone, le Sénégal ou encore l'Indonésie. Moi, j'espère qu'avec la restauration écologique communautaire, nous allons sauver les mangroves à travers le monde.